Hello pottery people, this is Lulu from As You Wish Pottery and today we will be painting this darling daisy bowl. As always, here's our supply list, feel free to pause this section and take notes as we will begin shortly. Let's begin by painting the outside of the bowl with a large square brush using one coat of Tin Man and one coat of Hi-Ho Silver. Paint a few brush strokes using the Tin Man, then dip the corner of a large square brush in Hi-Ho Silver and paint a couple of messy strokes in different directions. Now let's paint the inside of the bowl. Using another large square brush, paint one to two coats of Lime Ricky towards the top of the bowl and one to two coats of Teal Tomorrow on the lower half. Rinse off the brush, dip it in Lime Ricky again, and paint a few messy strokes where the Lime Ricky and the Teal meet to create a soft blending look. Now with a pencil, we're going to sketch the placement of our daisies and leaves around the bowl. The sketch doesn't have to be perfect or follow a set pattern. The only thing to remember is to have fun with it. <laughs> also, to leave enough space in between all the flowers and daisies so that way when we paint the petals, they have enough space to be spread out. Now, let's paint the leaves. Using a small or a medium red brush, Lime Ricky Paint, Kermit, Teal Tomorrow, and Double Mint. To create the multicolor leaf effect, dip the brush in paint. I started with Lime Ricky. Press the tip of the brush to the bottom of the leaf. Then using your index and middle finger, twist the brush upwards as you lift the brush when you're painting to create a pointed end to one side of the leaf. Rinse the brush, make sure to take off any excess water, and then dip the brush in another color like teal tomorrow and repeat the brush stroke on the other side of the same leaf. Some colors will overlap and this creates a natural blend, which is what we're going for. Make sure you are rinsing the brush when you're changing colors. Work one leaf at a time for the ones that blend and add some of the leaves that just have one color. Feel free to add whichever mix of colors you'd like. I just kind of went with all lighter to darker colors and vice versa. This technique is really fun to do just because it allows for natural lines to happen. So whenever you're brushing, um, try to just keep it to one to two coats at best. Don't worry about painting too many layers over them. We just want to make sure that the color is bright, but that we also get to see all the effects that happen when we're layering those colors. Now let's paint the daisies. Using water yolk and a long detail brush, paint four petals in the form of a cross. Have all their pointy ends meet in the middle of the sketch circle and fit one or two petals in between the four sides. Depending on how much space is left and make sure some petals are longer than others to add a variety of sizes. For the resting half daisies, paint the middle petal and add however many other petals fit around. Make the higher petals shorter than the rest. Using pumpkin pie and a long detail brush, paint darker petals on top of the yellow petals. Start on the dry ice daisy and work around. Pumpkin pie will just add a little bit of a darker tone to the daisies, but it won't really look as dark as it does when we're painting it. As you can see here, I use my pinky finger as a tool to help me stay steady whenever I'm using the long detail brush or any brush to be honest. That way I can have a steady hand and all my lines come out nice and crisp. With a medium round brush, paint the center of the daisies covering where they all meet inside the sketch circle using one to two coats of chocolate mousse. Begin with the driest flower first and work around the bowl. With either the backside of a pencil or a Q-tip, paint smaller circle dots around the stems using water yolk and pumpkin pie. Using the Black Lab Fun Writer, begin painting the stems and outlining the leaves. Though it may feel strange, try to work these parts with the bowl upside down as it allows lines to be clean and really quick to paint. Once all the stems are done, move on to outlining the flower petals. Using the Fun Writer, paint dots on the inside of the daisies. Create a fuller outlining circle, then gradually add less and less dots. This process of filling a space with dots is called stippling.
Lastly, with the Fun Rider, paint outlines for the little flowers and connect them to stems. Using a long detail brush and one coat of Teal Tomorrow, paint the accent dashes around the daisies. Practice the fat to skinny brush stroke on paper a few times before attempting it on pottery, as Teal Tomorrow is one of the darkest colors. Fill in all the spaces around with some of these accent brush strokes and go as high on the bowl as you desire. Curve the accent lines as you paint them around to make the line cohesive with the daisy's curves. This section is just pretty much for fun. Just try to fill in the spaces as best as you can, make some lines longer and some shorter. Um, just have fun with it. With a medium square brush, paint the checkered rim using black lab. Dip the brush in paint, gently tap it on the rim of the bowl on its side so it's flat. Leave a small space in between each checker to create that checkered effect. As you see this process is just a quick tap of the brush. Here's our final product. Thanks for painting!